Hello everybody, welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about another approach for semantic search. And this approach is called Learned Sparse Retrieval. Um, so Elastic has a built-in model called ELSER, and it provides trade-offs over dense retrieval, what we just saw, and what we've been talking about, the traditional sparse retrieval, uh, like BM25, for example. So basically, what it does is something called term expansion. So by identifying the contextual importance between the terms, it will utilize this knowledge to improve the embeddings, the sparse embeddings. So in this case, I have a query here as an example, uh, comfortable furniture for a large balcony, considering that this is a e-commerce, for example, and the person is looking for it. Then, uh, the document as uh, one example, of course, I would have a lot of documents, but with the value of is a comfortable and stylish garden round set, including a sofa, chairs, and a side table for outdoor relaxation. So without anything fancy, very simple, uh, we would have like the exact match with uh, BM25 as the comfortable here. So term is, the term comfortable is the only one actually that we have here. So the term matching for this is basically this word. And then with the term expansion, we would have more. So this is uh, the difference here. And this is really cool because as we can see here in the document, it allows a lot of other matches that wouldn't happen. So this is a good part here. Another thing that is good to mention about this is that actually you can do this really easy and quick with Elastic. You have this model into Elasticsearch here and you will basically start this. So you download this and you start this and it's that simple. With it, you have this into your cluster and then you are able to utilize this. This is what I did. So I am also using a notebook here, Python notebook. And what I did here is we are using the same bytes discuss um, index and then uh, instead of re-index into the dense one that we did before, I will re-index this into the sparse one, the sparse search. Um, and here, the type here for this field I created is this one, rank feature. So this one you use for Elser. And then this is the name of the field that we're going to use. Um, how uh, or how I generated this name or how I chose this name. Actually, I chose this before. I chose this here in this step during the ingest pipeline. So basically, I'm also using a inference model, um, a inference uh, pipeline here, the processor to for for models. And in this case, I'm using the ID here for Elser, and then the target field here I chose for it to be ML. And then the field map here, as we did before. So in this case, again, we are talking about text field. And again, I'm using the title. And here we have the configuration for inference. So what we will do here is text expansion. So this is the, the type for Elser. And then uh, the results here will be into tokens. So basically ML.tokens is this one. And that's why this is part of the mapping and the field that will uh, store the tokens here that will we have as an output, uh, considering the pipeline for the re-index. So then I re-index this as we did before. So this is the index, the original one, uh, the source index, and then the new index I just created. And then with it, I will open Kibana and go to discover. And as you can see here, you open a random document and you will see something that you probably recognize like terms, tokens, which is something that you're probably used to. So this is really cool because um, if you are using like BM25 and you're used to have the terms, it's, it's fine to have a list instead of having a vector stored. 
and then uh, you can check it. You can understand uh, the matches. You can understand the tokens that it's generating. Uh, so let's see how it works in practice here. So for this sentence, same sentence that I use it for the other one, um, I will use that. Uh, first of all, like starting from the beginning, I, I'm per, uh, performing a query here. So the text expansion for the ML tokens, the one we created, and then using the model ID, the one for else And then, yes, the model text here, uh, I'll use the same one that we used before. I don't know how to use in just pipelines. So for this, if you execute this one, we'll have a lot of different uh, documents here. So ingest pipeline, is there any observability into ingest pipeline? So you can see that it makes sense. Um, what I can do too is let me try to use um, something different here and maybe uh, insert here another query. How can I find a normal data? So if you're already using Elastic, um, using the anomaly detection, so this is what I'm looking for, but with other words. I think it makes more sense here because then you can see uh, the different terms here. So let me execute this one. So in this case, First one is how to find anomaly from an IP address. So we can see, let me even do the same here with the analyze API here. So you can see the tokens here. Um, how can I, I'm not doing anything fancy, just using the stock analyzer. So how can I find abnormal data? So these would be the, the tokens that I would have uh, with BM25. But in this case, there is this expansion. So because of it, we'll have more matches. So anomaly is one that you can see here that is really easy to identify. But fine, like we do have how true here. So it's uh, the how here is repeated. Um, it's also here. And then for the second one, anomaly detection transactions, financial data. We do have data here too. So fine, it's not unique, I would say. And then here, anomaly detection record score error. So this one is completely different, right? So for this one, as you can see, I think it's it's a good example of uh, not having these terms that we would have otherwise. So this is an example for you to see the usability. The goal of these models, of this pre-trained model, of uh, the dense uh, vector search we saw earlier, when it comes to uh, semantic search, it's really nice to use uh, all of these options, and it's all available for you to use with the Elastic Stack. So I hope you enjoy.